All right, people. Oh, welcome back. More uh, the endo commentary. So we sure. are joined by Mouse. What's up, people? And uh, it's Nicosi and Fernoids. I, I believe Mega Capital G said this what deck number ten. <laughs> he predicted that this deck literally just fell off. Like, I don't know. Like after a fucking duelist advent format with fucking uh, Tellers and Burning Abyss and Cleese and Necros, this deck just kind of fell off of the competitive scene. Like as soon as yeah, as soon I mean, as Cosmos became the top deck, this deck was like, I don't got nothing, and the mills are terrible, fucking gar garbage. Oh <laughs> my god, ass! How many spells are you running? Damn! Like holy shit! Like you don't run that many spells? Like really? Insta fusion? Like hmm. Has the other. Oh one my in god! Mill two and has the other one in hand. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, we have Ax the Great to to uh, at uh. Nine nine eight and then Blaze King twenty four at ten forty six and uh all right well there's first turn on Mega all right just gonna pick something out of his hand why not uh, Mega is just not as good as it used to be without uh without damage juggler you know so like, it literally dropped by like twenty dollars oh Tellers uh, uh I don't know What's the, what what would you say Tellers is say fifth or six fifth or six yep. So, uh, now, now since uh, Pepe is gone, we're seeing a lot more of the, the lower tier decks trying to throw their hat in. It's like, hey, mm -hmm. you know, Cosmos and Murmouth and Monarchs and Burning Abyss and Tellers and Fernoids. Like, there's, 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 there's it's much more of a diverse format now since PP is hit. So, interesting, interesting. I didn't think they were actually going to emergency ban. Though. I didn't think they were at all either. I think they were they were going to give it another month, wait till March, and then do something about it. And even then, not hit it terribly hard. But damn, damn! Not only did they emergency hit, well, adjusted hit. They just didn't want to call it emergency. It's an emergency hit, but they hit it so yeah. fucking hard, much harder than even I predicted. And I'm a, I'm fucking conservative. Like holy shit! When it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've cleared that out before. He's like, "Oh, what? You, you, you're conservative. You're a Republican. You're gonna vote for fucking, fucking <laughs> Donald Trump? Like, hell no!" <laughs> we'll love to punch that man. <laughs> <laughs> like, small loan of a million dollars. No, no. <laughs> wow, <laughs> they, I, I love it. I love how they always think that it's fucking. I know, right? <laughs> Like, no, we're not here for you guys. We don't even know neither one of you. We are here for the duel. We are here for the Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm like, Ax the Great's fucking biggest fan. Like, I remember he fucking tops. <laughs> like, oh my god. Also, one of my friends has, like, the biggest head ever. Because at, oh, at the originals, he actually beat the guy who got second place at uh, Nationals. Oh. At the regionals, <laughs> he's like, "Don't get a mean, big head." It's like, "What do you mean?" It's like, you know, that guy got second place at nationals, right? He's like, <gasps> <laughs> "I am the greatest." <laughs> That's Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Like, yeah, I mean, like I said, you can't really gauge Pearson's skill. There's no, there's no skill in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's no skill. It's knowledge. <laughs> yeah, you know, this game is here. You open up pretty well and know what you're doing. Go, you open up shit and. If you know what you're doing, go oh, well. I mean, you open up shit. I mean, there's probably a couple things that you could categorize as skill. Like, maybe making yeah. your deck and shit like that. But even then, uh, when it comes to, like, the outcome of your uh, winning or topping, no. No. Because, like I said, there's still... There's, there's too much luck involved. Yep. You know, if, if I play in a fucking, like, fighting tournament, and, I, you know, I train every day and I get good at the game, then, you know, my chances are higher because I skill at the game. But in Yu-Gi-Oh!, you could you could fucking play test every single day all day and be like all right I'm ready then fucking go to the tournament open up like fucking dick and ass and then just straight lose. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh, that powerful monster gate though. Uh, Th thank okay. you, number generator. Now nah, I think you want to change the uh, omega. Huh. Okay. I mean, I guess, like I said, I guess if I'm not to play, I mean, they have level fours, they play, of course, right in, so why not? But it's just not, the plays just don't seem as climactic as when you had that damage juggler going off like that. I'm just kind of glad he's, I'm glad he's gone, but as soon as, as soon as damage juggler we got banned, this card dropped by like $20. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad Patolan Myos is gone. Oh, wait, I kind of cheated. You did? No, you, what do you mean? If you're talking about. I am supposed to see Banish Omega chain before I summon Pat. 
No, no, no. You're, 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 you're you, okay. You can summon yeah, it. Yeah, you're okay. No, no, no. no. It's just or. Oh, or over eight. Is it over eight? Eight or lower. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, you're fine. You're good. Eight or lower. Yeah, you see, you copied and pasted right there. Nigga, it says <laughs> eight or lower. You're fine. Yeah, you have exactly. You have exactly eight. You're good. <laughs> exactly. Yep. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking fuck like you meant like the end of a commentary. <laughs> fuck me, I'm high. <laughs> wow, that was not that far of a monster game. Let's say. I wonder if they change anything. Like, uh, are they just playing Raiden or are they actually playing more than that? Like, Raiden and maybe like Lumina or Lila? Like, I'm not sure. This is the first time I've seen an Infirmary deck in like uh, months. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the first time we've seen it in months. Wow, you didn't want to actually get the attack in before we did that? I guess you really wanted to summon an Inferno. Are you just going to summon another Mega? And if summon another uh, uh, Inferno Ape level four, seems like it. Damn, just getting rid of those fucking. Yeah, like you don't, you don't need Vega. You don't need her. Definitely don't need her. <laughs> I don't need her. I don't need her. Definitely don't need her. <laughs> I need her. No. <laughs> so banner summon back your uh, uh, patchouli. No. It's gonna probably go for that. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? A neutral? Deviati. Deviati. Damn, alright. Well, Deviati effect, wipe the background, right? Mm hmm. Wow, I did not think you were going to do that. Oh, wait. Patrulli can only be summoned from the hand. Might be. I forgot about that. It's been a while yeah, since I played bigger... Infernoids. I've been playing Infernoids since, like, what? Before my break? Yeah, yeah. That was probably the last time. And it didn't get put back on uh, Daily Duels for a tied deck or a single deck? Because I'm pretty sure everyone just honestly forgot. I mean, it's on there every single poll. I, I, if it, oh, it yeah. is? Friends are on there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, I, like I said, I still have some executive decisions. So when you guys put up decks for the poll, I, I can't carry over a couple of decks. So Inferno is on there. It's just no one votes for it to win. Because I wouldn't mind playing it again. It's fun. I, I enjoyed my time with Inferno Nights. And it kind of got cut short with me uh, taking my break. Oh, did you hear that we might uh, be working on bringing back uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League soon? Yeah, I heard. Yeah. I definitely heard. You need to figure that out. You need to figure out all the decks and stuff like that, etc., etc. Oh, yeah, it is Banish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Damn. yep. Damn, he's just fucking but... this teller that player up. He's like, who you calling fucking deck number 10? I am deck number fucking 5, bitch. Not you. <laughs> Let's go keep Banish as Vegas. So like, oh my god, you need Vega. And fucking the great over here didn't open up with the fucking helmet like the fucking guy. A uh, tournament, I shit you not. Uh, one of my friends told me they when they went to fucking uh, regional, there's a guy playing Teller Knights, right? Uh -huh. This man summons the neb, searches, sets four back row, goes down, reaches into his backpack, pulls out a helmet, and puts it on. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing it against a fucking PP player, and then as soon as the PP player turned, he just fell plus anti spell fragrance. They're like, there's no way he's main digging it. Like, yeah, he is. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. <laughs> if I was still playing Cleese, I'd put my helmet on. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why That's why when I play Monarchs, I mean, that's kind of a helmet deck. <laughs> he's going to make sure you don't get that Vega. Yep. Go ahead. Pick up that Vega again. <laughs> Do it again. Please. Please get the Vega. Oh. oh. Okay, well, he might be able to come back. Wait, can you still tribute itself even under Phoenix Chain? Will you still get the eight or no? I don't think so. Oh, no. Okay, so, I mean, he can he can do his plays now, because I know he has a Vega, and I know he has an Altair, so... Vega, Altair, Deneb, let's go. I mean, there's no more, uh, Potomac into Infinity, but... <laughs> Damn, he just scoops what? anyway, like... I guess. What? I thought... You couldn't go for the... Like I said, I'm not sure if he can still tribute under Fiendish Chain. I don't think you can, because... Actually, I don't know. It's not on the field. Once per turn, during the game of turn, another effect, monster effect is activated. You can tribute one monster, semicolon, negate the activation if... if you banish it. So, I think you can tribute itself, and I think it resolves off the field since the semicolon is after you tribute. So even under uh, Fiendish Chain, you can still activate it. The cost, I believe, is the tribute. Once per turn, during the player's turn, when monster effect is activated, colon, 
you contribute one monster, semicolon. So you have to write the effect, you tribute the monster, which is the cost, and then you negate. So I believe he could still do it, even under Fiendish Chain. I believe so. I mean, I'll probably get corrected in the comment section, but I believe he can. It's been a while since I've seen Inferno. Oh, number generator, there's that one Rota. I want, like, two more Rota. Seriously. And I'll be like, happy. Uh, you can fucking destroy Teller Knights for all I give a shit. You can put fucking Deneb at fucking zero for all I give a shit. So please give me Rota. Yeah, just... <laughs> I really want some Rota. You fucking hit my my fucking new bell. You fucking hit my sports. Like I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> Man, testing that testing new bell has just been so exhausting. I mean, hopefully you we have it tested all good. Well, you have it tested all good for the stream. It's coming Saturday. We'll, we'll actually hopefully see Supervise Four. Yes, people, Supervise Four. <laughs> the return. The, the reckoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twin, tw oh, twin yeah, twister. Yeah, twin twister. It's like your target. It's pop pop. Wow, mirror force. Oh. Strike. I want to strike. Too much for me. Listen. Too much for yeah. my blood. For a person who's <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> for a person who's not into fucking Yu Gi Oh like that, that's too much for me. Mhm. Mm Why she has a nudge over? <laughs> Another one. Uh, God damn, this deck can run like how many counter traps? And so they they're gonna have the monarch deck, and I can borrow it if I need to get a couple of cards. Like, hopefully they have everything, and if I can borrow from the store too. But it, you know, I'll if I, I I'll pull, I'll totally play scolding. Fuck it, fuck it, play some scoldings. Let's go. The only the only oh, decker I run is fucking uh prime, so I can just flip a prime and then hit you with that scolding. <laughs> Hello? Wait, I thought you can only activate one institution per turn. Why are you showing him? Yes, it's once per turn. You can write that in the last sentence. Oh, okay. I thought he was showing him his hand. I was like, look at this bullshit. Hello? Ack. Alright. <laughs> He's my friend. Goes to the locals. Nigga got 50 cats. Always smells loud. <laughs> How you be smelling loud though? <laughs> what? what does that even mean? <laughs> I get. Wait, why did you? Hello. Huh? All right. Well, Norton's dead. Like, did you just do that What's just so you can there? go and fusion Norton summon Norton? Can Norton summon Norton? Yes, Norton can summon. Stupid. <laughs> at least, at least it's a <laughs> monster effect negated. This Interfusion summon Norton. Norton summon Norton. Norton summon Norton. Norton summon something. <laughs> No one would be banned if, if it didn't negate the monster's effect. Like, holy shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, even in those games, he is banned, so it's not saying much, but still. I don't think they're gonna we're going to go to that extreme. Oh, really? Right. I don't think I have a monster in the graveyard. If you had a monster in the graveyard, I would have won the Rock Dominion. Triff? Just to pick the hand, something out of his hand, I guess? I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's Infernoid, so they don't care. They really don't, I guess. Oh, wait, I forgot it was another wait, Institution. Wait, duh. Duh, <laughs> duh, I completely <laughs> forgot there was another Institution. <laughs> Why did you show another fucking Institution, you fucking butt? Oh, because you didn't know it was once per turn. Oh, my God. He was actually going to... <laughs> He's like, yeah, that works. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, well then. Well, then. I mean, it's a pretty good side card. Versus them, uh, them, uh, them, uh, them, uh, Cosmos. It's not terrible. And proceed to get it in that yep, ass. Yep, Fucking great over here. He's got his fucking helmet on with his fucking 50 cats, apparently. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't have any pets, actually. You got any pets? I have a cat. <laughs> My mom hates cats. She's kind of... She's kind of an asshole. <laughs> oh, that's just cats in general. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have no... My mom hates cats, and she won't let me get a dog. And I, oh, and I don't want another rabbit. <laughs> oh, you had a rabbit? Yeah, I died a while ago, though. Oh. Uh -huh. Fucking asshole oh, rabbit oh. died right in front of the door, so I couldn't even open the fucking door. Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. <laughs> wait, Why? Wait. That's not so no <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is that here, like? Nope. Uh, just sold it for 50 a couple of days ago. 
you talking about the luster? No, the guy, uh, Sparkle, like you mean, it was asking if I still had this helmet back, if I still had Tower Knights, and no, I sold it. Oh. Uh, well, you sold it for 50 Yeah, I sold it for 50 Huh. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the cards aren't that expensive. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's nothing, anything that's really expensive, and it's just like, fuck it. He's, he's like, he's like, he's like, you really won't like the offer. I was like, don't just shoot. He's like, I don't want to hurt your feelings. It's like, just you make an offer. He's like, I'm thinking between 40 and 60. I'm like, me too. It's like, deal 50? He's like, sure. <laughs> Mm hmm. I love uh, some savage, straight savage with that fire. Yeah, <laughs> iron wall. Better than nothing. I mean, the rip, I know. I mean, like I said, I picked up my Demebs when they were like five bucks, so. And now they're back to five bucks. But before they were like super expensive. Novus, too. But I still picked up the deck for cheap, so. And it didn't have Ptolemyos either. So. Oh, yeah. So there really wasn't. I'm so glad the car is there. There really, <laughs> there really wasn't nothing expensive in there. Crap, so what I have to say, Rip is. for is my fucking Klee deck. Like, that that was fucking Rip. Mm -hmm. I only got 150 off of that, and I bought it for 200 I mean, given the circumstances, yeah. you still made a lot more than... You still made a decent amount back, though. Yeah, but still, it's just like, Rip, they fucking killed my fucking Klee's. So mad about that. Like, you could have just banned ours. They didn't have to fucking hit Scout to one, you bastards. Or he could have just got rid of Weaving That Mask. too. Like, you fucking assholes. I get it. You wanted to fucking purge everything, so we <gasps> play Cosmos against Cause Cosmos get fucking destroyed by fucking Floodgate Cleese. They get wrecked. Yep. I've beaten Cosmos so many times with Cleese. Mm -hmm. It's not even funny. So, I get it. But still, it makes me sad. Sad Daniel's not a happy Daniel. Obviously. That's redundant. It's actually really redundant. So, Boys King got wrecked. He didn't open up well. He's running way too many spell cards. Like, what? Why is he running so many instant fusions? Oh, is it time to reason? Yeah, it's reasoning. Like, I guess he's running instant fusion so he can definitely, definitely go instant fusion, summon Red, and, and go into Omega. That's my. This nigga just called Decatron. That's not a level. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Call level Decatron. <laughs> what? It's not a level. <laughs> It's <laughs> definitely not Deca. <laughs> like, uh, like, what is that? Deca? Like, I say, it's called, it's called, called a level. Like, call it an actual number. Decatron, like, in that case, uh, you could assume that it's level 1, because Decatron is level 1, but then Deca means 10, so it could also be assumed that you're calling level 10, too. Yeah. So, damn, look at that. It got you, bitch. Call an actual fucking number level. So I'm in the back. Damn, what's taking you so long? So that's what, that's what my assumption is. So... He, he can definitely and definitely go into fusion summon northern northern summon back uh uh wow terrible terrible mills terrible you're mills. running way <laughs> too many fucking spell cards like holy fuck jesus christ these mills are awful <laughs> now time to go into nova oh Nova. yeah omega oh me omega all right go into omega omega can go ahead and put that patchouli back for you and then you're gonna go ahead and mill three during the end phase I'm I'm so oh. like I honestly forgot like just that quick that um oh but there's imagination what forgot what I honestly forgot that um but the Patola Miles got banned just that quick because I was like you gonna go into you go into Patola Miles and Nova and Trinity and yeah 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 yep been a cool minute oh get rid of that no Ooh, you don't need it nice. you don't need it definitely <laughs> don't need it. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been so useful. I mean, it seems like he's still okay. It's, it's, even with fucking Rota at one, Tower Knight still have consistency. It's just every other deck that had fucking Rota is hurting. That's just not fair. Yeah. Like, you act like fucking Rota the one was a practical hit, Konami. Like, they still have three Unuks. They have all the revival. They have fucking Sky Bridge. They, like, fuck you. If you would have put that Deneb down to one, then we could have talked. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I personally yeah. thought you were going to leave Rota alone. I thought maybe you were going to do, like, maybe, like... Unuk to one and the Neb to one to hit Telonites and kill them since they won the world, but nope. Damn, that would have killed That's them. Exactly, I thought they were going to kill them, but no. They just killed every other deck that runs goddamn warriors. Makes me sad. Kill my goddamn you bell that. Like, what next? You're going to go ahead and hit my fucking, uh, wow. Twin Twister, pitch Twin Twister. Go ahead and put her on wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Give her that awful. set Rota, wow. That set Rota, though. 
Why did you set roll there? I don't know. To bluff, I guess. I don't know. Still. Like I said, I would have personally held on to the Twin Twister. I mean, it's good to go ahead and Twin Twister in the end. I guess he was worried about a Nova, I'm assuming. Because yeah. you should have waited for that pure iron wall flip up. Who is that? Harmadick? Oh my god, remember when Harmadick was like 30 bucks? Mm -hmm. just... It's still like 20 and high. No, look at... Uh, well, that's because someone's crazy. But look at that low, though. Like, come on, he's like 5 yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah, low is good. Okay, so... Well, we know uh, Nuke is that. banished, which means that he knows exactly what's in his hand, which is, of course, Nova. So it comes down to that set card, it really does. That set card is some revival, let's go. Wow, nope. Wait, Wait what? What? Hello? What? What? You were, you were putting in that work. What happened? What the fuck happened? Like, I guess you assumed that there, there was a rival back there and you were going to get it? Like, I'm so lost. What? What? <laughs> wow, that ended very anticlimactically. Is he still online? Is he? I'm about to yeah, say, is this like, man still online? Like this? I could just see Blaze... Blaze King? Oh, uh, he's not online. I guess he disconnected. Wow, that sucks, because it looked like he had the potential of winning. Wow, anti-climactic. Hella. Well, that sucks. Yep. Alright, people. Well, there you go. Sorry it ended like that, but I'm kind of curious. Uh, is Axe still on? Uh, Axe the Great. Alright. What was your set card? Because I, I need closure on this duel. Because he's totally <laughs> DC'd. So, what was your set card? Was it like Oasis Called Haunted? Because if it was Oasis Called Haunted, oh yeah, definitely. You probably would have had it. Or something like that. Mega was gone. Okay, okay. Alright then. Alright, yeah, it was called Haunted. Oh, okay. Right. Closer? Closure. Can't fucking spell. <laughs> Closure. So anticlimactic. Closure. Swear to God. Alright, people. So there you go. It was called Haunted, so it would have called the Haunted and then made a trail, and then he would have returned back to the hen. He would have had the Nova, the Mega, let it bring done anything. It was a good deal. Yeah. Really wish it ended. Like, you know. Yeah. Better than Seriously, that, that man just stirred up disconnected. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you, Actor Great, for the entertaining us, I guess. Thank you, Mel, for joining us. No problem. Uh, no problem. Thank you, Mr. Sparkle, for, I guess, following and stalking us. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and thank you guys for, of course, watching. And uh, see you guys next week with some more damn commentary. That's it. Now, since PP has gotten, we are seeing a whole bunch of just decks popping out the woodwork. And it seems like the perfect time to uh, do some uh, Yu Gi Oh! tier draft. Like I said, I'm not. I might wait until the actual list, and if I don't like what they did, I might create my own list for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Athlete, because I want... Ooh, that might be Because I want PP to be in it, but I don't want them to be as hurt as they are right now, you know? It would definitely be a Tier 1 deck, you know, you select your Tier 1 decks. Uh, I'm still planning on having 16 people, and you would still get your, your duels every week, but it would be like every other week, so it'd be like two weeks. So one... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it would get, of course, 16 people, that means that would be 8 matches, so you would get 4 matches one week, 4 matches next week, and then it would move on to the you know, next week, you know? Makes sense? Uh, and like I said, I might have to do my own custom list, just because I want to see some, I possibly want to see some decks of the past, and Ooh. I want to see Pepe there, and we have to get a lot of decks. And I'm also planning on doubling up, so while there's 16 people, I'm going to put like 8 tier, well, 9, no, no, probably still 8, still 8. I'll probably do eight tier one decks, eight tier two decks, and then we go down the order up and down like we did last time, and then you double up. So two people can select like Cosmos, two people can select that, and we'll see the differences in their decks. Will you give us, um, will you give us, uh, uh, you know, some infernities uh, if we want to? Mm, I'd have to think about it. I, it, oh, it, okay. it, it, it wouldn't be infernities, infernities. Like, it wouldn't be fucking like. Synchro Trish Spam Infernities, definitely not. Like, I'm looking for some tier 1 decks, not some tier 0 decks. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. So, before you guys think, oh, he's Dragon Ruler. No. Hell no. No fucking Dragon Ruler. <laughs> Did you see fucking Vexicus's video? I he know. put up a video and he was like, what's the strongest deck at full power in all of you? I'm like, Dragon Rulers. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, no, hands down, Dragon Ball. It's like, there's no fucking debate. And you're like, oh, well, I got beat by fucking Spellbook, so it's not the best deck. Spellbook's had a fucking card that went plus six, and it still couldn't be Dragon Rollers. That's the same. Yeah, thing. that's the side thing. When you have a card that allows you to go like plus six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you still can't beat fucking Dragon Rollers, that's when you know that Dragon Rollers. Hand down is the best deck. Like, some people are like, oh, Spellbooks. Like, they're only as good as Spellbook of Judgment. Like, that's saying that fucking Spellbooks are the best deck now. Like, no Spellbook of Judgment? Where's, where's fucking Spellbook? You even have three fate. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I don't even think I've seen you top once. <laughs> and you even have new cards. You can even play lose one turn, too. So, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Dragon Rollers hand down. Even even stronger than PP. Even stronger than fucking PP. My Joker? No. Like, oh, you mean in the tournament? Yeah. Maybe. Ooh. Maybe it depends. Uh, for right now, if I would bring PP back as we're sitting right now, I would probably give you your lusters. <sighs> you would lose your wavering eyes though. Wavering eyes would probably be cut down to one. Uh, I'd probably give you back your plush fire, but diamond chocolate would still be banned. Uh, uh, CJ, I just like the uh, I like my, the pendulum magicians and ability to perform me. I don't give a shit. And about... I would <laughs> probably put. Skull Crow Bat to three again, but you would only have one monkey board. I am perfectly fine with that. So, like I said, we're still working on it. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to wait indefinitely until the new list, not the suggested list, and then make a list accordingly, because I, I would find it interesting to bring some decks back from the past to uh, have maybe as tier one or tier two decks. So, yeah. Fucking bring back Teledad. Hell no. <laughs> Hell fucking no. No, no. No dad returns either. No. <laughs> Alright people, so thanks for watching, thanks for the support, thank you Mal for joining me, sorry I went on a little tangent here at the end, but uh, uh, yeah, if you guys are looking forward to Season 2, uh, and you guys have any suggested decks, then go ahead and shoot, so uh, anyway, thanks for watching.